From history to the here and now, or at least a coming attraction, think of this. One billion people vanish, leaving a 15-year-old girl to take care of her younger sister and try to figure out what happened. That is the storyline behind Vanish, left behind the next generation, the new film inspired by the New York Times best-selling Left Behind book series. I spoke with the film's leading actor, Jackson Hurst, and began our conversation by asking him about his role in this motion picture and what it took to prepare. He's the father of one of the, uh, of, of two of the lead girls, um, and uh, he's, he's a troubled guy. He's made some mistakes in the past, and, and uh, he's kind of paying for them now. You know, he's been distanced from his daughters, whom he loves, you know, with all his heart, and, and you know, he, he spends the film trying to get back to them, trying to fight, you know, with everything he can to get back to them, and it's, a, it's, it's an uproad battle. Yeah, you know, when we look at the trailer, we see the people suddenly gone, and obviously it leads to introspection, people questioning what their purpose in life is, why are they here, having to draw on personal faith to persevere. What was it like for you to get into character for this? Uh, you know, it, it, a couple of things happened that it made it a little easier. You know, right before this movie came along, we found out that, you know, my wife was pregnant. So I, I kind of drew from that a little bit, and that helped out. And, you know, it's a... It, the world that they built in this movie, it's, it's a dark place, you know, it's, uh, it, you know, the evil is, is definitely there. I mean, there's a lot of darkness. So, it, you know, that's, those are the type of roles I gravitate toward typically. And so that, that made it a little easier. And, you know, honestly, you just, in this case, you just got to imagine. I mean, it is, it's a what if scenario. What if something this insane, this crazy happens? How are you going to handle it? And, you know, being able to use the imagination rather than, uh, you know, substituting all of your own stuff. It's, it's more fun just to kind of imagine yourself in the world. Well, congrats on the uh, pending arrival at your house in real life, and I'm glad you're able to draw on some of that to, uh, to play the part of a dad in this motion picture. There's a bit of a mystery in relationship with your daughter and your whereabouts. Uh, let's take a look at her meeting a new friend. We saw at the beginning, 15-year-old Gabby left alone. As the people left behind start to rebuild a society, there is Gabby meeting other people and obviously looking for you. I'm Gabby, by the way. Rachel. What's with the gun? Supposedly for protection, but it's better to not ask too many questions. Rachel, did you ever meet anybody here named Eric Harlow? He's my father. No. Sorry, I've, I've got to go. So then, as Gabby's hiding from the people trying to control the new society, she sees something terrifying. <gasps> what, what, what? That's my dad. <gasps> Get in. I said, get in. <gasps> so tell us, why do they lock you up in that box? I'm a troublemaker, man. <laughs> wasn't making it easy for him, so hey, you end up in a box when that happens. Yeah, well, in, yeah, in all sincerity, was, uh, you you were there on time, knew your lines, got got this this movie made. I'm just kind of curious in the production, is there any part of this film that ranks as your favorite? Um, you know, there was a, a nice intimate scene I had with with Gabby, you know, played by Amber. Uh, you know, where it was just. You could just kind of hear, it was just the nature and just the crickets, and you just kind of had, you know, it's where everything slows down for just a minute, you know? I mean, you have a, a movie of chaos, chaos, and it's, it's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing, and then crickets for just a moment. And uh, I like that, you know? It, it mixed it up, and, you know, most of my stuff was kind of in the midst of the chaos, so I think when it, everything slowed down for a minute, it was nice. When you take a look at this, bringing the, the book to life, what do you believe the message is that the producers, that the author of the book, the producer of the screenplay 
want to leave your audience with? You know, I think the message is you know, just fight. You know, uh, when everything's thrown at you, you know, you just keep pushing forward. And, and you see in the movie that everybody's fighting for something bigger than themselves. That, you know, you're constantly asking questions. And it's, you know, it's an analogy. It's a metaphor for real life. You know, I mean, when you're, take New York, you're thrown in the middle of everything, you know, and, and you're a fish out of water, so to speak. What are you going to do? You, you got to survive. You got to fight. And I think in, in this case, it, uh, you know, the relationships and the love that people have for each other, they just keep pushing toward that, you know, them trying to find me, me trying to find them, them trying to survive, and, and uh, you know, I think it's, it's pretty cool. And it is a message as old as scriptures, and uh, we sure do appreciate it. Sounds fascinating. Again, if you want to check this out, Vanished Left Behind Next Generation in motion picture theaters around the country for a one-night event, Wednesday, September 28th at 7 p.m. local time, Jackson Hurst. We really appreciate your time. Congratulations on this film, and we look forward to visiting with you again.